this afternoon after a couple days of rain towards the end of last week and working a little bit of ground. I wasn't going to film today, but just like our wonderful government, we can't let a crisis go to waste. And I believe, actually I know we have a, hopefully just a minor crisis. Um, I was getting ready to pull into the field and start planting corn. <clears throat> Matthew radioed and said the axle completely broke off or broke on the field cultivator as he pulled out onto a state highway. That's where I'm headed. So I haven't even started planning yet. It's 10 to 5 right now. So uh, we shall see what we run into if this van get out of my way. That's not supposed to be like that. I didn't hit anything. Something just decided to give way. I was making the turn nice and slow. I was looking back and right as I was straightening out, it just came out from underneath of it. Um, yeah. So I'm out in the highway by a little bit, but there's no hills or anything too close by. So we'll get this figured out. Well, you know what they say, when it rains, it pours. Just got out of the, got that tractor with the uh, broken axle off the road, pulled into the neighbor's field gonna have Berkey's our local case IH dealer fix it uh, the part that we or well it's quite the part everything that they need will be in tomorrow luckily so that's nice and then I just hopped in the versatile until all to trade dad that way he could go do uh, cattle chores and I noticed that this uh, Oscillating axle here. It's not supposed to be like that. So, we'll get this taken apart tonight. Go get parts first thing in the morning. Be back at it. Well, folks, what a day. We got done what we needed to on this till all. For, well, all that we can get done. 8.30, finish up right before dark. So, I want you guys to remember what this looks like, okay? This is what it's supposed to look like. I originally just showed you guys the one, but this other one was a little loose as well, so we decided, well, if we're gonna have this one taken apart, let's go ahead and tear apart the other one. Replace it, because it would eventually go bad. So there was a bearing. That was on that shaft that was going out but on this one the original one that I saw that went bad it's a little bit of a different story as you can see the whole I think they're called beams they go right here we had to take out I had unhooked the uh, hydraulic cylinder from the pin because on the other one, we cannot get the pin that goes through the back part, through the walking tandem out. Um, most likely the reason is because it was going out, so it was wearing the pin where it was not supposed to and put grooves in it and we we're unable to drive the pin out. So dad and I had to load up that whole thing and that was, that was quite the job. We'll uh, tear into the rest of that tomorrow get that one pin pushed out I'll show you guys that process then we'll go down to our local Landall dealer get the correct parts and hopefully we'll be running before lunch tomorrow good morning everyone so here's what we're dealing with um, with the till all bearings this was the second one that came out just fine in there is what's left of well this bearing is basically mainly intact it's just going out 
So drive out what needs to be done. Dad's on his way to get parts. So get that one driven out of there. And then this one over here was the one that was giving us troubles. As you can see, we've got that whole arm pulled off of there. And we cannot get this spindle to come out, which is what this oscillating axle pivots on. So I'm gonna set it over there on the welding table and use a bigger hammer and see what happens. See if this uh, can coax this a little bit. Well, it would not drive out. The reason that being is, I think I said last night, when the bearing goes out, it'll wear a groove in this pin and prevent it from driving out. So when you have stuff that doesn't come loose, you, uh, you make it a liquid. What's going on everyone? We're finally getting going. This afternoon, uh, Dad, John, Luke, and I were all working on that till-all. And it was giving us some fits, but we finally got it back together after uh, many hours, about three hours too long. But hey, sometimes that happens in farming. Sorry I didn't film any of it. We were trying to get it going as fast as we could. Uh, we had to get this stuff worked again and then get the bean planter on it. And then since the cultivator's still down, we had to stop working corn stalks and send that till all to work some bean stubble to get the corn planter going because we got about a day left of planting corn. So we just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. So we're finally, finally planting beans. This was standing corn stalks that we were unable to get worked or sprayed last year. So we had to work it twice. It actually worked up pretty nice. Not too shabby, a little chunky, but not bad. Put the beans in a little deeper, put a little bit more pressure on the closing wheels, and it seems to be working fairly well. Well, I get to call it an early day today, thankfully. <laughs> I got the that 60 acres I was working on done. Dad and Jonathan are currently working down some more stalks. Um, we're gonna wait to plant it till tomorrow morning, I think. Let it air out a little bit, cause it's still heavy. Dang, unworked ground, giving us fits. All you no-tillers out there are probably giving us a bunch of crap, but hey. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take this back to the shop, fuel it up, grease it, and then head home. I do appreciate you guys watching another video here at Taylor Farms. Please comment, subscribe, let us know of any questions you have, and uh, catch you at the next one.